someone spitting in your face, that is just utterly disgusting. But with COVID-19, that is actually just downright dangerous. But workers at a local barbecue restaurant say that someone spat at them when they asked that person to put on a mask. New at 5, Channel 11's Gabriela DeLuca spoke with the people who had to deal with this person face to face. There's no question on how Rowdy's Barbecue feels about mask wearing. There are signs here saying no mask, no service. One customer had a big problem with it, and he certainly made that known. And whenever you get here tomorrow, just make sure you wear a face mask, please. That's how Rowdy's Barbecue employees end every face phone mask. call with someone putting in an order. And loud and clear on the storefront, signs are posted, making sure people know to wear their masks when they come to the window. It's a policy that's not always met with acceptance. Have a good one. We get cussed out all the time. It's never gotten to like a physical level and it's never gotten this bad before. Kaylee George and Mackenzie Hedrick are referring to what happened to them the other day when they asked a customer to put his mask on. And he kept on lowering it down. I was like, can you please just lift that back up for me, please? He did it, dropped down again. I'm like, sir, please wear your mask. He's like, I'm outside, you're fine. That's when Mackenzie went to the back to get Kaylee. Next thing they knew, the customer expressed his anger by spitting on the window. He was very upset and decided to uh, express his feelings by spitting on our plexiglass. Neither of the employees were hit. The wad of spit instead landed on the plexiglass, but the two of them were left to clean up the mess. It does feel degrading. It's just like I have to clean up somebody else's spit now, and I'm just trying to like make you some barbecue. <laughs> It's not the first time we've heard of something like this. At the beginning of the pandemic, police arrested a man for spitting on a giant eagle employee. Rowdy's barbecue owner Steve Kingsland said he's disgusted this happened to his employees, but he's not shocked. A lot of people are angry. It's such a polarizing issue. I can't justify it in any way, but I can't say I'm surprised that it finally happened. As for the employees, they're just asking customers to do what's right for everyone's safety. We wear one for eight hours during our shift and they can't wear one for 15 seconds while they were there. So it's just like, I try to feel bad, but it's hard. <laughs> Reporting in the South Hills, Gabriella DeLuca, Channel 11.